And all it takes is a matter of minutes from finding that skier and then locating them, sending that hoist down and then getting them to safety. Sergeant Wyatt Weber with the Utah Department of Public Safety tells me that the skiers from Saturday's deadly avalanche in Mill Creek Canyon were some of the most prepared he's ever seen. Here's video. Here is what that inside look of that recovering rescue operation looked like from last Saturday. All right, we've got guys on the ground asking uh, for a hoist. I have patient three at the same extraction point. We're ready to go when you are. It's a job where Sergeant Wyatt Weber is always ready to go. There they are. I got them. Okay. Uh, they're right to your six now, low. Okay, I'm going to swing around. It's just rough to see that many, you know, fatalities and injuries and things like that. You really have to take a step back at that point, though. Put it kind of out of your mind and focus on the mission. The mission was rescue and recovery. This video shows the efforts of the Utah Department of Public Safety. Video from the helicopter and video from Sergeant Weber's helmet. Locate, send the hoist down, and strap in. We put them in a vest, and it's almost like a, it's almost like sitting in a giant hammock. Then send the hoist back up. <laughs> Weber says the skiers were all prepared with avalanche beacons. It helped save the lives of four of the eight, the other four being memorialized throughout Salt Lake City. Pretty much all we do is thumbs up, are you okay, those kind of things. The rescue is fast paced and is done in a matter of minutes. The recovery, much more methodical. Wyatt says taking a step back lets him focus on the mission. There's emotions involved, right? Uh, especially for people who participate in those types of activities because they can kind of put themselves uh, in their shoes. Without this helicopter, it would take several hours for anyone to be able to rescue people off the mountains, especially in the back country of Mill Creek Canyon. At the end of the day, as Wyatt says, he loves bringing people to safety. The helicopter behind me, one of two helicopters that the Utah Department of Public Safety has. This one behind me, however, does not have a hoist. It's not used in that rescue and recovery operations. DPS says they are asking the Utah legislature to get another helicopter so it's updated and also has that hoist included.